Hey, what is going on guys? Tech Enthusiast here, and I've been using the Huawei P20 Pro for over a month. Is it still worth buying today? Well, I'm going to try to answer that in this video. Just before getting into the review, here is a quick look at the key specs. Straight out of the box, it comes with Android 8.1 Oreo. It has 128GB of internal storage and 6GB of RAM. It has a triple camera setup and a 4000mAh battery. It has a 6.1 inch 1080p OLED screen with a fingerprint reader in the bottom. At the back it has a triple camera setup which I will talk about later on in the video. Ok so on the left of the device is the SIM tray tool. On the right hand side is the power button and a volume rocker. On the top and really rare to see these days is the IR blaster and I for one appreciate this and find it useful. And finally on the bottom is one of the speakers the USB Type-C port and no headphone jack although it does come with the adapter. Yes the P20 Pro has a notch but it isn't really big compared to other phones. For example the Xiaomi Mi 8 it has a massive notch copying the iPhone 10, and then the OnePlus 6 which is smaller but the P20 Pro has the smallest notch out of the three. Huawei use their own skin on top of Android called EMUI. There are quite a lot of apps installed which many would consider bloatware. Some of them you can uninstall and others you cannot. Going into the settings I'll just show you how to hide the notch but honestly you won't really notice it unless you're looking for it. You only have two options here and that is to hide the notch which will black out the sides as you can see here and default which will enable the notch again. Here is a useful setting where you can change the behavior of the navigation bar. You can completely disable the navigation bar. Now you can use the gestures on the fingerprint reader, a short press of the button is back, long press is home and swiping on either side brings up the recents panel. When it comes to gaming on this phone, it can play any game on the Play Store without any issues. For watching videos, the screen is fantastic. Colors are very vibrant and you get really good blacks thanks to the OLED screen. Moving on to the real highlights of this phone and that is the triple cameras. These consist of 40 megapixels, 8 megapixels and 20 megapixels. The P20 Pro can record 4K at 30 frames per second and super slow motion video at 960 frames per second at 720p. Here we have some sample photos and as you can see the P20 Pro can take very detailed photos. When it comes to reds it doesn't really struggle like other phones such as the OnePlus 6 where it was difficult to distinguish the petals and you can see that video on my channel. One thing I did notice is that some of the photos are a little contrasty on auto mode but you can change that with the pro mode. Portrait photos are also very good whether it is a photo of a person or a small object. Here you can see the P20 Pro manages to focus in the object and blur out the background. When it comes to night photos the P20 Pro is a beast. This photo was taken at night time with the OnePlus 6 and you can barely see anything but with the P20 Pro just look at the difference, it's like it was taken at a different time of the day. And again you can see just how good this phone is when it comes to low light photos. And finally these last photos will show you the zooming capabilities. So the first photo is normal and then this second one is 3 times optical zoom. And finally the last one is 5 times digital zoom and that is very impressive. Okay, so this is a 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second between the OnePlus 6 against the Huawei P20 Pro. Now this is being recorded just after lunchtime. It's a lovely day, as you can probably tell. So this is going to come down as usual. Have a look at what's in the lake. Well, in this case, there doesn't seem to be anything. You can probably, oops, dragonflies are gone. Okay, and I'll just take a recording of the surrounding area. And just move up slowly and do a short jog to see the video stabilization between the two.
This is a super slow motion video recording at 960 frames per second, just like the Samsung Galaxy S9. The P20 Pro is a very snappy phone, even though it has 6 gigs of RAM compared to other phones, and it probably has the best RAM management I've seen in a phone. With a 4000 mAh battery, the battery life is fantastic and I can easily go more than a day and charge back really quick with the supercharger. So the conclusion, should you buy this phone? Well it is on the expensive side, but it is cheaper than the other flagships such as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and iPhone X, and you get a lot of phone for this price. I can definitely recommend it and cannot wait to see Huawei's next flagship phones. So that is the end of this review. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next video.